Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a 2D software like Scratch and create a 3D game much like this. It is a survival game, so you can see if I hit there, nothing happens. But then if I come, I can mine wood. Uh, that's something I can do. Oh, that was weird. Okay, and now so let's just mine a bunch of wood. And I'm going to have a crafting system in part 2 and a bunch of stuff like that. So firstly, let's open up a new project. So we can call this anything. I'm just going to uh, call it Mine Crafter <laughs> uh, as, as a little joke. So we want to start with a blank scene. Just completely restart it. And now you can actually, if you want to, go into backdrop. There is two ways to do it. Backdrop is by far the easiest. So let's go into this tool, make it full. So get the rectangle f um, tool and make it fill itself. Uh, let's just go for dark green. And I'm going to select a big portion of the play area, like that. And then we're going to get this bucket tool. And, oh, crap. Oh, that's a yuck sky. That's, let's just go for that one. That's better. And then, um, if you wanted, like, really badly, I don't know why you would, uh, you can put some clouds here and there. But for that, I think I'm going to have to make it a bit darker like that. So, we're going to add in just a few random clouds. Like that. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is actually add in our character's arm. So, the way we're going to do this is because it's a Minecraft ripoff, I'm just going to select a line. And uh, let's just start off with the hand coming out. So, we'll, we've got it like that. Like that. Or I screwed it up a little bit, but here's hoping I can fix myself. Yeah, I succeeded. Um, we're going to make it 3D because it is a 3D game after all. So there's a small bit of tweaking that you may come across having to do. Uh, don't worry too much about it. Uh, as long as your project's looking somewhat like mine, uh, you should be good. So we're going to just do that, and then we're going to get the full tool, uh, select like a skin tone, like that, and we'll also uh, fill up. Let's see. Um, I think it's like a blue light. Oh, shit. Uh, we're going to fill up a blue like that, and then we're going to select this little centering tool. Like right here, you can see it, this where you center, and we're going to center it in the middle of this uh, hand. So that's going to make it a lot easier to do the rest of the game now that that's done. So let's just right away drag it uh, when clicked. We'll go forever. Head to looks, and just go to front. That'll make it so it doesn't clip behind anything. Uh, it stays in front like how we want it. So next we're going to make a, um, a tree. Now to make a tree that's actually easier than that. You can make it 3D which I've never actually tried to do. Which I'm going to attempt in this video. So we're going to do this. We're going to have the full tool. The fill tool selected. We'll make this a bit bigger. Okay. I don't know if we're going to make a tree that's 3D. I... It just seems like a lot of effort. Hold up. We'll give it a shot. No, okay. We're not going to do it. It's just a waste of time, to be honest. <laughs> and I don't think you really need it. So we're going to choose a couple different shades of green to make the bush shadow. So we'll do like that. That. And maybe like a very bright green for over there. And then there's our tree done. <laughs> it's not the greatest looking of trees. But now as when we get into um now is when we get into a few things. So let's size it down by how much you want. Uh that should be good. Uh, position it where you want, and then this is very important. Go when clicked, motion. Um Go to, you don't need to change the coordinates because that will be set to wherever you wanted it to be. 
Uh, you also want to looks set size to 50% and um, that should be it so now let's work on the characters movements so we're gonna hit head to more blocks make a block we'll go movement like this and then we're gonna define what movement is so is this, this is um, if you've ever coded in like unity or unreal engine this is just a function so we can tell it to do stuff and all that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a forever loop and then uh, if and now this if is gonna take some work so we're gonna do that now we're gonna go key pressed and then we're gonna go uh, to events sorry and then broadcast a message and now what this is gonna do it's gonna send a message to the tree telling the tree to do things so now that that's done we can just use this as a template to fill it up like that and then now we need to make our keys. So I'm going to make it the WASD keys. You can make whatever you want. So there's W, A, S, and we need a D in there. Uh, or was it D? <laughs> I need the D. <laughs> okay, so there's a D. So we're going to make these broadcasts the right messages. So let's make W. That's going to make us go forward. We're also going to have a rotating camera in episode 2, so then we're going to go A equals going left, uh, S, we're going to make it backward, and then finally we've got D for right. So yeah, um, I'm just covering the basic movements in this. We're going to cover the wood collecting and all that in the next episode. But right now that's done. So now we're going to um, go when clicked. And we'll bring in the movement block. And let's head over to Sprite 2. And we need to go events. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry. Don't do events. We're going to do when I receive broadcast. When I receive broadcast when I receive broadcast and another one and then we're going to make this forward backward left and right so um now these are the things we're going to need so let's first of all, first of all go forwards so we're going to go forwards change size by one and then that's that done and then we're actually going to duplicate that for over here but this backwards is going to be negative one uh, not negative two negative one and then we're going to go to motion, uh, get the change x by, and then we're going to make one three, and then one uh, negative three. So now, if you we're, if our character's moving left, you've got to remember the tree is going to move right, and right is positive, so we're going to put that on left and that on right. So now let's test and see if the software is working. Okay, so our 3D project is working very very nicely right now so I'm gonna work on one more thing that's adding in the cross here uh, this isn't exactly essential but it makes the gameplay a lot better uh, especially when coming to the bits we have to my wood and that so we're gonna select uh, pretty much just make your own cross here everyone has a different way they want to have it so I I like to put a ring in because I like rims and then put the lines Oops. Like that. And then that that's actually good enough for me. But I think I might just rub out that much. Okay. So now that that's done, we've got another thing to do. And that's going to be events when clicked looks. We're going to go uh, set size. We'll make it uh, 30%. It differs on how you like it and how big it is so then that's oh that's a bit small okay we're gonna center it real quick because that's important to center it I almost forgot to do that and then so we're actually gonna make it set it to 43% uh, and then okay so that's better and then we're gonna make that also do a forever loop underneath that 
and her looks and then go to front this is what we're going to do for the hud for the everything just to make sure that it's always at the front okay um so now we've got a working movements uh join me in episode two where we're going to be making the resource gathering and the hud until next video a good bye